but then but okay so i ended stream at midnight and my flight was supposed to take off at 7 30 a.m okay that's when the flight is in the air and it goes bye 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 bitch at 7 30 and you're supposed to it boards at like seven okay yeah and uh i'm, I'm up at 12 i get home I'm like taking a nice shower. I'm like, oh, this is so relaxing. Ooh la la, ooh la la. And then I put on the robe after. Oh my gosh, I felt so like fancy. You know when you put on a robe and like the and like they had like large hotel bat uh towels and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So I'm all cozy and I'm watching my new a new show on Netflix called Physical 100. Anyone know that one? It's like a it's like a reality TV show, Korean one. So I watched like two episodes of that, and I'm up until it's uh it's it's like a it's like a hundred really buff people are fighting, and then trying to see who has the buffest body. <laughs> so they do challenges until one person is left standing. So that's what the show is about, and they're all really jacked, just like me. Of course, of course. But yeah, I, that's the new show that I'm watching. So I watched that, and then I'm up until I'm up at f until 4 a.m. Yeah, I should be on that show. Chat should be on that show too, right? Exactly. Yeah, Physical 100 is what is my is the new show I'm watching. So yeah, I'm up until four, and then I take a little nap. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I wake up at 5:30, and and so then I'm like, ah, ah. I doze off peacefully into a nice nap and I set a 5 a 5 a.m. alarm and I'm like okay this is fine I'll just take a little take just close my eyes a little bit and uh <laughs> I hear the alarm go off at 5 a.m. I jolt awake and I'm like ah just a few more minutes and then I snooze the alarm and then I wake up again and it's 6.25 a.m. And it takes 30 minutes to get to the motherfucking airport to begin with. So by the time I would get there, it'd be 6.55 a.m. And then the, the plane boards at 7.25 a.m. And I'm like, I just missed my flight, bro. Like, I couldn't believe it. I thought I, I, I wanted to leave the, the hotel at 6. But instead, I literally woke up at 6.25. And I didn't even pack yet. I went to bed without packing, like, all my shit was just flowing everywhere, it was like, it was like, all my clothes over there, and like, my stuff was in the bathroom, and I'm like, ah, oh, dang it, like, I obviously can't make it, oh, I was like, that really sucks, and I was freaking out, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is awful, like, I missed my flight, what do I do? But thankfully, thankfully, uh, OTK booked the, the flight ticket for me, and they were super nice, and they made sure to have travel insurance, ooh la la, so I could do like a free, uh, what is it, like a free change of flight the day of, so that's really nice. Now it's 100 bits, thank you, my biceps are huge, what do you mean, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, Che, I forgot to tell you! Oh my god! OTK, uh, they also got me, they also got me a first class flight chat. To, like, to and from Austin to New York, and it was my first time ever flying first class, okay? It was crazy, so, uh, my store, okay, like, on the way to New York, it was so nice, I had, like, a big chair and it is like the first class like cabin area so there's like a uh what is it like your own flight attendant for just the first class people and i'm like whoa this is crazy like i've never done this before it was so swagalicious right and then they like you get unlimited drinks but i only got sprite so i just drank my sprite and then the lady would come around she'd be like do you want anything else and i'm like uh sprite <laughs> I just drink that and then we also got free food so they would give you like a like a breakfast platter and I'm like wow first class is so nice like I feel so fancy what the heck and then you get to leave board and leave the plane first so it's like super cool right I was like this is like my first time ever doing it and then I was like this is so I feel like wow thanks OTK so kind Oh, thank you, Nox, for the 100. Like, so kind, so kind. And then, 
Uh, so then the wait there was great, right? But to this morning, because I missed my flight, I had to downgrade from first class back to the main cabin. So I went back. I didn't even get the first class experience again. So I went back to the poor section. Just kidding. With all the plebeians. But it was fine. It was fine. Like, that's, like, where I belong, honestly. Like, that's... I, I think first class, it's nice once in a while, but... Honestly, it's not that much better. It's just like you get a meal and then you get to board and leave first, okay? So, uh, I, I was fine. Oh, and I had a layover. So, the first class one, it was like a direct flight. And I can't believe I, like, missed this. Like, I slept through it. I slept through my, my direct first class flight. And, and so, I had to downgrade to the, to the stop in Atlanta uh, main cabin row 30 flight. But it's fine. It was still good. But I was just, like, so exhausted. And I was like, oh, this sucks. Yeah, I do like airports, so uh, it, was, it, was, it was still a good time. But I thought it was really funny. But, so anyway, okay, that is not even the worst part. <laughs> Getting downgraded, okay? But the whole experience, like, leading up to me catching the, sec the, the second flight was awful, right? So I was already, like, in a very sensitive mood. So I was like, oh my god, I missed my flight. I slept way too long. I was very sensitive. And then I, instead of a 725 flight, I, I caught an 840 AM flight, all right? So I was trying to make my 840 flight, and I went as fast as I could. I was, I packed right away. I, like, checked out, and then I called the Uber to the, to the airport, and, and the, literally the Uber thing, it told me that I would get there at 730, Okay, so it's fucking, it's, uh, it's like estimated time, 7.30. And I'm like, oh, perfect. I have so much time. I have so much time. This is going to be totally fine. And then we get into the Uber, and then all of a sudden, there's all this mother flipping traffic. Okay, mother flipping traffic everywhere. And I'm like, uh, okay, it should be fine. It's totally fine. And then we sit, we wait. There, there's no, like, no one's moving. And then it's 7.40, and I'm like, holy shit. And then it's 7.50, and I'm like, holy shit. And the flight is at 8.40 a.m. And so then the it boards at 8. And I'm like, bruh, I could have missed this flight too. This is so annoying. I was having a literal breakdown. Like, yeah, it's over, it's over. And then I get to the airport at 8 a.m., okay? So I get there at 8. It's already starting to board, and... I'm like, I'm like freaking the fuck out. Also, my Uber, my Uber, bro, was he even driving? I think he was literally like on his phone half the time. There, you know how there's three lanes? He was always in the slowest lane. Like the other two lanes were like, were like, like at least they were moving. But my Uber just sat there in the slowest lane. And I'm like, can he move to the right, please? Like, can, can he do a little, a little, a little turn? And then I, I was like passive aggressive. I was like, Hey, what time does the app say that we'll get there? And then he's like, um, it says here 7.45. And I'm like, 7.45? Haha, <laughs> okay, thanks. And then I, I try to show him that, you know, I'm going to the airport because I have a flight. So I just kind of like give him the death stare and I'm like, <laughs> please move to the right lane. The right lane is moving faster. And then he finally did. Like after like half... What is it? Like, fucking 80% of the way through, he finally, like, moved to the right lane. And I'm like, thank God, thank God. And then I made it at, I made it at, uh, 8 a.m. But I'm just like, bro, why are you sitting in the, in the slowest lane? Like, don't you want to try to, like, maneuver a little bit? Like, go a little faster? That'd be nice. So, I have a backseat driver. But, yeah, so I was, I was, I was, I was so fucking stressed. I was like, bro. But if you're an Uber driver, don't you want to do um like trips faster so then you get another trip and then it's like you make more money is that how it works i don't know I, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious about like the uber um the uber and lyft paying policy if they're good or not but yeah the left lane usually the fastest right but this morning it was literally the slowest like no one was moving but at least the right lane people kind of uh exit it like they they t they go to the right and take an exit so then it's a lot faster so i'm like bro please go to the right lane little bitch on a stick 
and then he did it until later. But, chat, I am here right now, so you kind of know how the story ends. But I will still say my story because I got really pissed. They aren't paid well. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I just want I just want him to move a little faster. Like, what was taking him so damn long? But um, okay, yeah. So I get to the airport, and my flight is 8:40 a.m. I get I stand on my two little feet at 8 a.m. and I'm I'm hauling ass. I'm like, bye, bitch. Gotta go. And I'm like running into the airport and shit. I'm like, oh, get through, get through. And I'm just like so scared to miss, right? Because I just don't want to fucking have to reschedule my flight again. So I I go right into the security line because I have my mobile boarding pass, thankfully. I run into the security line and there's like, like two different stations. Uh, there's two different stations for where you can get your license checked or whatever, right? So, so it kind of splits off into this way, right? So I go to the left, and then, and then uh, there's like three people in front of me, and then the right also has three people in front of me, or yeah. So then I go to the left, and then there's like there's like some commotion here, okay? So they're like. I don't know, there's like some issue going on and I'm like, bro, like, can you hurry the fuck up? I'm at JFK. This is, I hate JFK, by the way. This is the worst airport ever. And then I'm like, hello, like I have to go. And so then I move to the right lane because they're, they're moving, right? So then I'm like, okay, I'm over this. So I go to the right lane and then it's taking forever. And by the time I like even go up, this side is already done. So I would have I would have been done if I stayed in this lane, but instead I had to go to this lane because I this I thought this lane was faster. And I'm sitting there like fuming at the mouth. I'm like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? Like the security taking way too goddamn long. Of course I changed I changed the lane and then all of a sudden the other butterfly side goes faster. And I'm like so pissed, okay? And so then I'm like I'm like kind of like <laughs> like r r running back and forth between these two two lanes, and I'm like having a literal breakdown i'm like bro i need to catch my flight right now thank you a million for the prime for six I'm like okay which way do i go and i finally get my license checked and then the security is so bad like i don't know if you've seen the type of tsa like security check but it's the one where it's like four people it's four people in like a line and then you push it you push it and then put another up and then push it and then I'm like, this is so inefficient. fishing. This is so inefficient because every person has like three, they need at least like three carts. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They need three, three carts and you have to like push it. And I'm just sitting there waiting for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, holy shit. Holy shit. And like, and I'm like, going to miss my freaking flight. This is awful. This is awful. So I like, this is so inefficient. But, uh, finally I like, I get to the t the security line. I'm just like, oh my god, it it was just very stressful. I can can you see the stress? But then, guess what? Then guess what? It gets even worse. Okay, it's so much worse. So then I finally get past the I finally get past the security check, right? And I'm like, oh my god, I got a haul ass. Okay, uh, where where is my gate? Right? Like, okay, where should I go? And then. This, so this is the, this is the map of the, uh, the terminal, right? This is the security. Guess what gate I'm at? B41, bruh. I had to walk, I had to walk from here all the way down here. And I was just so freaking pissed. I was like, of course I'm at gate B41. All the way in the motherfucking back. I was, sp and then they would have like the, the walkways, right? So there's like the fast uh, escalator walkways thing, but they, half of them were fucking closed. And so then I had to like run and sprint <laughs> all the way to B41. And I'm like, Ugh, of course, of course. So it was just so bad. like. Everything was going horribly wrong, and I'm like, I'm gonna miss my flight. And then finally, I got to be 41, and I was the last person to enter the, like, to get on the flight. So thankfully, they didn't close the gate on my ass. But I was dead ass the last person to get on it, and I was like having a breakdown. I was like, I'm gonna cry. This is so bad. And then I finally, I finally, uh, got there. So I made it. Yeah. Thank you, Final, for the tier one. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so it was just absolutely horrible. I'm still traumatized to this day. 
I was holding up the flight. And then, uh, and then I slept on the plane and my fucking mouth was wide open. I don't know. I can't, I can't help it. Like, I'm just on the plane. I take it and I'm like, <laughs> like, it's so embarrassing. And like, you can tell, you can tell your, you can tell your mouth is open. Right. And you're just like, <laughs> and they're probably walking back and they're walk, walking over and like, they're just like, see, you're like, <laughs> like it's so embarrassing i couldn't i couldn't help it i was i was dying so yeah just like a dad and yeah they definitely saw Mm-hmm. so i did that and i made my flight and then i went to atlanta georgia it was really nice i had some wendy's when these nuts are in your mouth <laughs> and then i um got on my flight Ha <laughs> ha Thanks, chat. I got their nuggets. It was pretty good. Then I went to Austin. And now here I am. Half alive. But, you know, I'll take it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I am guffawing. They didn't even have the spicy nuggets. They only had the regular ones. So, uh, that's all I could do. Yeah, the, the airport literally only had 10-piece regular nuggets, so I got those. And then their barbecue sauce is, like, not regular barbecue sauce. Like, it was good, but a little strange. Yeah, I know. It just, like, wasn't the normal barbecue sauce. Like, it's not the McDonald's barbecue sauce, that's for sure. But, yeah, I got the regular one. Mm-hmm. And now we're back, baby. Back in business. Woohoo! Woohoo! So, yeah, that's my story. Isn't that so scary? Like, no, I still have my Air Force Ones. Like, I still need to fucking take a breather before, uh, before that, you know? So.